Today is all about the sourdough. National Sourdough Bread Day is coming your way really quickly on April 1st. And we're celebrating with one of the area's best sourdough bakeries. We are joined this afternoon by AJ and Carson Brown. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. That's a pleasure. Of course, they are Need Bakehouse St. Louis, and it's something you definitely need in your life, that's for sure. I mean, tell us a little bit about how you guys got started with Need Bakehouse. Uh, so it started back right after I got back from France. Mm -hmm. um, knew that I just had a passion for fermentation yeah. and bread and just wanted to bring that to just honestly back to the United States, back to the, the community, my passion for bread. Mm -hmm. And so I started a sourdough starter 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and is I, this it from this, 12 years ago? This is from 12 years ago. We've oh continued, continued that process. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing that, I, I, that people need to know about sourdough mm -hmm. is that it's not just a, a style of bread. It's not just a, a flavor of bread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is the only way that bread has ever been made for thousands of years. Wow. And so every, every yeast that you get in the mm -hmm. store, all of those things originated from sourdough. And so a sourdough starter itself okay. comes from the grain, which is these wheat berries, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the yeast and the bacteria grow on the outside of this. Okay. And so when you mix it and you turn it into flour mm -hmm. and you add water to it, then you're going to be able to create a sourdough starter. Okay, and so there's like bacteria that. and yeast in mm -hmm. your sourdough starter. And so if you're having bread at a store, mm -hmm. or if you're making bread at home with a yeast packet, you're only getting one component of the bread, which is the yeast and not the bacteria. Oh and yeah, so, we want the good bacteria for exactly. our gut, right? And the crazy yeah. thing about it is the culture in the sourdough mm -hmm. starter, it's one to a hundred yeast to, be, yeast to bacteria. So that means you're, you're losing about 99% of the actual flavor and digestive power of all the breads. And so that's oh why gosh. sourdough has just become such a staple mm -hmm. for people who want to eat healthy mm -hmm. and want to eat well for themselves and feast. That is amazing. Okay, thank you for breaking that down, AJ. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. an incredible science lesson. And this really kind of was what started exactly. and sparked everything you guys are doing. Yes. Not only can people get loaves of bread, they can get also some more yummy goodies yes. at need too. So donuts and pastries and um, lots of shortbread sugar cookies mm -hmm. and granola and all the fun things. But we offer breakfast and lunch uh, Wednesday through Friday, uh, 7.30 to 2, and then Saturday and Sunday, 8 to, to Noon. Noon on Sunday and 8 to 2 on Saturday. There we yeah. go. So, so many different ways to go <laughs> yes. in and get some amazing goodies. And I know you brought some of these items for yeah. us today. Are we going to make a starter? Yeah, so I wanted to just show people how you would how you would feed it normally. Okay. So, this is one that, this is the one we're actually using okay. on a regular basis at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, you can see we fed it this morning and it's doubled in size here. You fed, when you started this morning, it looked like that? Yeah, yeah. And oh so my it's gosh. grown all the way up to here. Wow. And so, Honestly, I think people are also confused as to what starter is. It's mm -hmm. literally just flour and water. Okay. And then you've just cultured, you've just allowed the bacteria and the yeast to just grow naturally on it over time. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done here is now we have this starter here. And so we have our starter that's only about 10% of what we're going to weigh. So okay. if you're ever using bread or making bread at home, mm -hmm. the scale is always uh, optimal. Okay. And so from here, we're going to add 10 grams of, of starter that mm -hmm. you get and then 100 grams of water. Okay and you just mix that together until it just comes together. This is so cool. <laughs> and then oh after gosh. that, honestly, it's the same ratio mm -hmm. of flour. And so 100 grams of flour. So this is 100 grams of flour, already yeah, so, measured out. So 10 grams of starter, 100 grams of water, and 100 grams of flour. And you'll see that in three hours or four hours, it'll double in size just like this one will. Oh my gosh. Okay, St. Louis, this was your science lesson for the day, how to make a sourdough starter. And guess what? If you want to learn more about how to make your own starter, maybe even go ahead and grab some of the things you need for a starter. Or if you just want to enjoy some amazing, amazing goodies from Need Bakehouse, you absolutely can. We'll make sure that you have access to all of their details. It's right down your screen, needbakehouse.com. And they have a free sourdough starter with your purchase April 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, that entire week. So you can go in, enjoy some goodies, get a free starter, and start your own at home. Thank you guys so much for making this. I can't wait to watch this grow. 